Hello everyone. This is um, actually crazy that I am on YouTube right now. This is um, pretty nuts. Actually, I am not on YouTube right now. I am in my apartment right now, but this video <laughs> will be on YouTube and that is um, actually insane to me. So um, I just wanted to thank all of you guys who just number one have supported me and followed me and my page from the beginning. Um, it really is crazy that I'm gonna start posting on YouTube now because it's not that Instagram wasn't um, a big or world platform, but YouTube is just like, I don't know, YouTube is just such a, like a bigger spectrum to me. So it's definitely so amazing and just such a great opportunity, but um, so I'll just go ahead and, and get into the point of the video today. Um, I don't want to make my intro too long, but um, today's video is going to be kind of heavy. And, um, you know, I hate that for us that this first YouTube video is just heavy, but sometimes it just kind of has to be done. Um, so the title of today's video is Who Am I? And it's a good question, you know, because I can I can go up to someone and introduce myself and say, um, my name is Emily. I, I go to USI. I'm 18. I'm studying biology. Um, I'm 5'9". I don't play any sports. I'm a good singer. But that is not who I am. Um... Who I am, in all reality, is a blogger, I'm a student, I am insecure, I am human, I am created in God's image, and still so hard on myself. I am hurting but I am happy. I am strong, but I am weak. And I think that a lot of people um, think that I am just this just overly confident and um, just out there, outgoing, whatever type of person because, you know, I can just so easily post things like this on Instagram and now YouTube and it's um, it's just honestly I don't want to say that it's a lie because when it does come to things like that you know I am pretty confident and it doesn't take a lot out of me um, emotionally and mentally to, to make these videos you know it's not I don't have to push myself out of my comfort zone to make these but I want you guys to know that behind every single person is something that the world doesn't see and I'm not saying this to you know to get pity from you guys I'm not saying this to make this video sad but I do want you guys to realize that there are so many people including myself that don't really know who they are they don't really know um, just what they want to do with their lives or how they would describe themselves and I think that it's because I don't know we just have such a society that tells us who we should be instead of celebrating who we are and you know we live in a world where sometimes people take it to heart Sometimes people don't. That, you know, there's there's certain models in fashion shows that we would consider too skinny, or maybe we've become just so normalized with the the modeling industry or whatever that um, if a girl isn't real thin, we might think that she's 
Hmm, that's weird. She's she's a little bigger than most models. And that's just I mean, I don't I don't understand why we think that way about people. Why why do we have to classify anyone or any shape or any look or any hair color, gender, affiliation, religion, anything? Why is that what defines people? Why is that what we look at when we meet someone? You know, I was just watching this movie where this guy, um, he texted a girl who he thought was um, just this beautiful, popular cheerleader and he was given the wrong phone number and ended up texting this girl that everyone else considered to be a loser and fat and ugly and manly and whatever. And they ended up actually falling in love because he had only spoken to her and her mind and her soul and her intelligence. And it really made me think about why do we not see people like that more often? Why are we not looking at everyone the same? And, and this isn't me coming on here to try to say, you know, you guys need to act a certain way to everyone. You guys need to speak a certain way to everyone because that's not what I'm here for. I'm not here to, to tell you guys how to act. Um, because, you know, whoever wants to act however they're going to act, you know, that's their prerogative and it's, it's not my business to decide how people, how people act and I'm, that's not for me to say that I don't care about how people are treated because I definitely do. But I just feel like we treat people how we see them. And I think that sometimes when we see specific people, whether it's you know, someone popular, sometimes we might look at them as an idol or as a role model, or even we might see them on the opposite side as someone who is self-centered and selfish and not a good person because they're that way. And I don't understand why we can't just celebrate people as people instead of just labels and as literally anything else but who they are and you know there's I, I guarantee you that there are so many people that will think to themselves today am I am I good enough am I good enough for for this guy that I like for this girl that I like I have a boyfriend that tells me every day how much he loves me and how beautiful he thinks that I am and just they constantly tells me how much I mean to him and yet I still sit and question my worth every single morning that I wake up and I hate that because I know that I am not that only person. I I know that almost every single person wakes up in the morning, no matter who they have in their life telling them that they're good enough, whether they do or they don't, that they wake up and there's something that they see in themselves every single day that they don't like or that they want to change. No matter how good you can feel about yourself, no matter how confident you might feel, on one day, there's always going to be something when you're in, at your lowest that you see about yourself. And and I hate it because we are all made so specifically and uniquely and just beautifully. I mean... 
like Stephen Hawking. He was literally a genius. But when people first saw him without knowing him, all they saw was his disability. And we're still stuck on that stuff. We're still stuck on I view and first impressions. And I don't get it. I don't get why. <laughs> We're stuck on that. Even with ourselves. I don't I wish that I had an answer as to why we do it. I really do. I think that it's because certain magazines or TV shows or whatever glorifies these people. <laughs> And they're glorified so much and so heavily that we think that that's what we're, we are supposed to look like. And it's not a bad thing to want to work out and get in shape. It's not a bad thing to want to learn how to do makeup or to want to up your style or to want to study harder. But it is if it's because you're trying to be someone else. And if you're trying to look like someone else or be as smart as someone else, we have to stop comparing ourselves to other people and start being the best versions of ourselves. Because as long as we are making ourselves out to be someone else and trying to be someone else, we will never, and I will tell you a million and a half times over that we will never be happy with ourselves. And that is an absolute promise. You will never be happy with yourself as long as you are trying to compare yourself to someone else. Because even in the moments when you think, I'm prettier than her, um, I have more muscles than him, I'm skinnier than her, I'm skinnier than him. Once you start gaining that confidence about yourself and you start comparing yourself to other people in a way that you're higher, then you start becoming conceited and selfish. And you think that you're better. And we, no one's better. No one's better. We are all equally great and wonderful and special. And that all is going to stem from us. We can't depend on trying to look like someone else to make us happy. Because it's never going to get us anywhere. And... It is an absolute promise, and I know that I am not a genius, I am not a psychologist, I am not, I'm not God, I'm, you know, I'm an 18 year old college girl, that's, that's about it, but I do have some life experience, and I do have some struggles of my own, and I just want to, I just want to be here for you guys, and I just want to tell you guys how much you mean and how much you're worth.